Right, hello everybody, welcome to a replay, um, a quick replay analysis for Hubster TV um, of one of his recent matches. I don't know if this is the correct match or not, <laughs> so that's why I'm just doing it as, as like a quick one. Um, he was Underworld against Woody's, which is obviously a very tricky matchup, um, because Underworld is shit. <laughs> <laughs> in, in my opinion <laughs> um, you should consult my uh, underworld uh, roster and my underworld my underworld guide and underworld roster is uh, the the best underworld starting team is let me think eight wood elf linemen two war dancers and a catcher right um, but he is uh, he is playing underworld and what I don't like is he's trying to punch here. He's taking his troll and put him on there. He hasn't got tentacles, so he's he's taking his troll out of the center. And I, you know, he's what he's not doing is he's not showing up this right. This is a huge. He's he's taking him away from the ball. He should have ev kind of made everyone over here, shouldn't he? Um, this is a bit. Uh, yeah, that's 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 pretty decent burn running. Yeah, that's decent. I don't like it as much as the uh, Wood Elf lineman, to be honest. Uh, I prefer the Wood Elf lineman and War Dancers, <laughs> but I understand what they're on. Yeah, so I, it's he's actually he's actually come out of it pretty well after saying that. <laughs> after saying that, he's come out of it pretty well. Um, I don't like the extra throw from the thrower. Um, but you know he was catching it on twos, and he had pass, and he had show hands, and I guess he was that far away that he wasn't. You know he had the edge four ready to pick up, and pass next turn if he had to. So I, I guess the fact the ball was so deep meant he wasn't under too much pressure. But I still would have tried to get people back, and I really didn't like getting the troll out of the middle. I feel like uh, putting the troll over at one side. Um, was a mistake. Also, wouldn't have minded seeing this this throw at two squares further up here, so that he could have still done the quick pass to him. Fuck off, you shithead! Right, I would have preferred to have seen this thrower here. He still couldn't have been engaged by anybody, but if if the pass had been a fumble or whatever, he'd have been one square closer, and also you'd have been two squares further forward for next turn running into a cage, which. If he'd been here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, he could have got right up there into a cage, couldn't he? Um, I guess he's going to have to cut the corner here. Oh, I just blitz him. Okay. So he's going to have to GFI to get into the hole. But again, that's that's a roll that he didn't have to make if he'd been further forward the previous turn. And he rolls a one. <laughs> so this is looking very uh, very results based analysis. But it wasn't, you know. He, he really could have just had that guy a bit further forward last turn. It would it wasn't adding any danger. It was actually adding less danger because he would have been closer for for a pick up a uh, fumble. This is a bit problematic. Maybe he could have uh, assisted better so he wouldn't have still been in a tackle zone. Or, you know. Shouldn't be too scared of the 1D because he does have he does have uh, sure hands. So the, uh, the 1D leap in isn't as scary as it would be if he didn't have sure hands. And presumably his troll's gonna get knocked over now. He's still got two put No, I why didn't you just hit it? I think Louis BB should have just brought in two players and punched the troll, right? Now it was much better than than dodging away and leaving these two I don't know what they're meant to be doing. Could have brought in two guys here and here, punched him there to there on a push, and obviously on a power could have left him. Uh, and he actually gave no, he actually gave uh Hubs for a route through as well, didn't he? By uh, 
Like, you know, they would have been shoring up. They would have been in the right place. Like, putting them into assist would have been... They would have been in the right place, these two guys. They're not doing anything here. So they'd have been stopping him that way. He's already stopping him here. Um... Yeah, exactly, Wolfbag. Yeah, super difficult. But I think that was a big mistake by Louis BB. And again, it's easy to look at that because he rolled the KO on the failed dodge. But I still was think he should have made the block anyway. I think there was no reason not to make the block there. I think making the block was way better than whatever he was attempting. Again, a GFI. Don't like the GFI here. It doesn't, unless he's going to foul him, it just doesn't really do anything, does it? He could have just stood him there, and then could have either stood him up or dodged him away. It's a catcher, so it could have just stood him up, and then if it takes two players away to punch him, then uh, at least it's taken two players away to punch him. Standing up in, in, a, in a mighty blow tackle zone is interesting. He must be going for the ball this turn. square for no reason. He could have leaked from the square in the front there, couldn't he? And he gets his 1D in. Only a push. Dodges out. This can be uh, very bad for the elves now, can't it? So, there's a surf on here, isn't there? He punches him, blitz him with a lino, push him to there, which gives you the assist for this block if you need it. That's a lineman, yeah. So then that gives you the assist there. Ball carry can go there, you can surf him. And that looks pretty, pretty lovely. You could even go for a greedy 3D with the uh, troll. It's not even that greedy, is it? Because it's three dice. Um, and then you could have blissed with the, uh, oh, I don't, uh, I, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't, this looks like he's not going to get the surf. Yeah, no, I don't like that. That was, uh, that was pretty much an easy surf there. I don't like, I don't like this at all now. Oh God, he's dodged to hit him. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't like this. <laughs> um... Also, this isn't stopping him getting a one <laughs> Play on Xbox. Oh, no. So, <laughs> you know, the ball could have been safer and could have got a surf as well. Um, I really don't like dodging. I mean, he could have he could have hit this guy and he could have surfed him. So I think that I think that play was better than than that turn. Hmm. Oh, could could he have stood this guy up as well or not? Hey. Alright, so now he's got the problem of I mean this is the classic elves, isn't it? They get you in down a sideline and then they just trap you with all this kind of bullshit. And it's uh it's pretty hard. He could try to swing out, but then of course it doesn't really do him a whole lot, it's turn five. He can't really try to muscle through either because he's fucking shitty underworld. So it's pretty problem. He's in a lot of trouble now. At least if he'd surfed that guy and got an extra block down, he would have. He would have been a bit further forward, and he would have had a bit more protection. As it is now, he's got no real protection and no real advancement and equal number of men. So it's uh, it's very tricky. I don't even know what I'd be wanting to do now. Concede probably. What I'd probably recommend at this point is just concede. Play a fun game like uh, WWE 2K19, for example. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Yeah, that's the best way. Stop doing this to yourself. That's, uh, anyone playing Blood Bowl, my advice is just stop doing this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Wolf Bag. Yeah, you know, you have to be pushing forward. Have to be pushing forward as safely as possible. You don't want to be pushing forward like a lunatic because then obviously you can overextend and they're going to get you because they're elves. So you want to be as safe as you can while pushing forward. Oh, there you go. There's a there's a lovely foul. Stamp the fuck out of him. Yeah. Yeah, so this was about the best you could do from this turn. Like, get back to about the middle. Uh, maybe he's could have had an extra person out there because this guy could have completed the cage and he could have had another player over there. Um, a nice little double one there lets him actually get forward now, doesn't it? That was a beautiful double one. <laughs> so... The only thing to do now is uh, is blitz this guy and potentially block him as well, right? And smash forward down here. Whoa! Oh, no, I don't like this. Because this isn't getting you space, is it? I, I like blitzing this guy and, and grabbing the space here. Could have had a ca full cage up here, basically. Yeah, he's just actually not making progress. Yeah, I, I would have wanted to make the full seven squares forward here. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't like this because you're just not getting forward. Could have could have activated the troll first and got into these two. Um, would have been better than trying the dodge, I think, or got into these three. You know, getting the troll into, uh, into these three or these two, I think, would have been better. Yeah, foul the dancer lust, yeah. And then the other one leaps in for the 1D anyway. Gets the skull. <laughs> so now, <laughs> now he surely he can't fail to get forward this turn. There's the really stupid. There's the pal. So, there's two dancers. Can't get out of range of them. Maybe you could get out of range of them completely. Could he? Oh! There's another <laughs> one with a GFI. Yeah, but that's it. There's no need to GFI there, is there? There's no need to GFI. You can just you can just stand there. Um. That's a big mistake that people make. Is like. You know, they, they do it when L screening. Like, they feel they have to get into the two banks, like the banks of two like that, when they really don't have to, you know, get there and stuff. And that's one of those where it felt like he had to be a tight cage. He didn't, he could have been a loose cage. Uh, you know, okay, it's one in 36. Yes, it's unlucky. But I feel like there has been a lot of mistakes made this drive that have been bailed out by the elves, either not playing great or not rolling well. Um, and there was a great opportunity to seize the field up there, and then another great opportunity to seize the field up here. And uh, yeah, double ones are unlucky, but um, they're less unlucky if you don't have to make them. <laughs> you could blitz this guy and then chain him out so he doesn't have to dodge. Only saves a two plus, but you could do it. Oh, I could blitz him and block with him, that's better. Brilliant. Exactly, yes, Wolfpack. Yeah, even though it was a 1 in 36, um, just getting him there is so much better, isn't it? Getting him there for sure is so much better. <laughs> and there's the one. Oh, he's got a reroll. 
<laughs> no NRA, no. God, no. Rule number one, don't play Blood Bowl. That's, that's, that's lesson one at the Jimmy Fantastic Blood Bowl School, is just fucking don't play. <laughs> just watch Jimmy Fantastic stream it. <laughs> you got, <laughs> I'll fucking, I'll fucking torture myself so you don't have to. <laughs> All right, so the one turn defense. Do we have 11 men still? Yeah. Ah, this is not the thing to stop a one turn, is it? This is not a one turn defense. Uh, no. <laughs> no, back line. Or if you if you try and defend it against a riot, do chevrons, I guess. Um, but not this. Luckily for him, it looks like his opponent doesn't know how to do a one turner, or at least not an optimal one turner. No, no one turner at all. <laughs> yeah, Jaws. <laughs> I'll be, I, I can't help but play it. But yeah, I mean, that's obviously getting away with one if your opponent's not even going to try one turn. Because that wasn't hard. In fact, he was getting three dice to get pushes as well. Definitely got away with one there. Very strong argument for the troll on the LOS, isn't there? Stops the goblin getting punched and... Uh, and, you know, takes a bit of commitment. Okay, he might knock him down, but he's armor 9. And uh, you can just stand him up again and... He's probably not going to get removed and takes a, a certain amount of commitment of 2D. I'd probably put the troll on the OS. I wouldn't probably, I would put the troll on the OS. Again, if I was forced to play Blood Bowl um, because maybe somebody was threatening my family or something and they told me that I had to play Underworld, um, then. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I'm, I'll be, I'll be back to it. I just, you know, Blood Bowl just is just fucking draining sometimes, isn't it? That's all. Like sometimes it's fun, but sometimes it's, it's just like it depends how I feel with my health as well. To be honest, if I'm if I'm feeling all right, it's all right, and I can handle the bad dice and just think, oh well, you know, it's a dice game. You can't win every time in a dice game. You're going to get bad dice and you're going to make mistakes. And it just is what it is. But um, every now and then, yeah, you need a bit of a break. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, exactly. In our end, yeah. yeah, I'm never going to stop. For sure. But by the same token... I'm still going to have the odd break every now and then. Because ma mainly health-wise is the thing. Because if I feel shit, I really don't want to put up with the bullshit dice. <laughs> Whereas if I feel alright, then it's much easier to brush off as just one of those things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing for you, like it's, it's. That was before I was ill, you know. That was before I was ill. At the end of the day, before I was ill, 
I was all right, and then ever since it's been rough. Look at that dragon punch from the goblin. Oh yeah, this is an attack as well. So, in, in stark contrast to Hubster, it looks like Louis BB is going to take all of this space and fuck off over here. Yeah, believe it or not, Mr. Yen and Dem, yeah. Believe it or not. About the first... <laughs> about the first six months of me streaming. <laughs> Oh. Well, he did a terrible GFI there. He should have passed it, of course. Because passing it would have got him an SPP. And you can't die on a failed pass, <laughs> whereas you can die on a failed GFI. So that was... Unless it's sunny. I'll let him off if it's sunny. Um, if it's very sunny, obviously I'm an idiot. It's not very sunny, so he was wrong. <laughs> well, there you go, Wayne Ferrer. That's because he's not as good as me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you've got to go for the pass. It's just strictly better. It's not even going for the SPP, is it? It's just strictly better to pass in that situation. Better fail state. No chance of death. It's just, that is just better. To, uh, should have obviously had an extra man on the line there so that he wouldn't have had to move somebody to get the second 2D. Arguably could have followed up there because he would be protected by the troll. Um, and then he would have had a tackle zone on this guy. Well done, Flicky Flack. Well, now, I don't like moving away from the ball. I think he's splitting his team in half. He's going for the pass, isn't he? Oh, dear me. Oh, he gets away with it. <laughs> but there is the 4 plus dodge in for a 1D. No, he's not going to. Could have done. I mean, they're always going to have a decent shot of 1D in your ball, aren't they? Unless you're... Unless you're... Uh, unless you're uh, Unless you have a guard player and uh, and a finger bussing, they're always going to have a shot for a one D on the ball, no matter what happens. <laughs> but he didn't tell you to concede, though, right? So. So he didn't really do you a very good job. Just think you could have been uh you could be you could be happily playing Fortnite right now, Wayne Farah. <laughs> if if Sage had taught you just to concede. <laughs> think that was you should have pushed into there, right, so that you'd have been based by a by a guy after standing up. It seems like Hubster is really focused on getting the four-man cage rather than, uh, do you know what I mean? Rather than like trying to advance and be safe. Like obviously shouldn't have been dodging there. That's where the blitz should have come. Um, but yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, Wolfpack, yeah. Yeah, so he was like, if you're going to commit to that blitz and then commit to the dodge, then at least, yeah, don't move the guys first so that if you fail the dodge, you've got more people around the ball. Um, fair enough, Wayne. Uh, um, but yeah, I don't know, he seems focused on getting the four-man cage rather than... Rather than playing well, if you know what I mean. Like, it's one of those things where... If people are to read or watch a video, you know, like the YouTube cage, the whole YouTube cage thing from uh, from Loopak, it's maybe it's one of those situations, like there was, like there with the GFI that you made um, in the first half. Like it seemed like he was focused on doing that rather than you know, and then making that foul rather than yeah, rather than just doing what's best. Which, obviously to do what's best, you've got to see what's best, haven't you? <laughs> you've got to be able to see what's best and then do what's best. So it's it's not easy just to do what's best. <laughs> um, so, but, you know what I mean, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Because, yeah, I think people do, like... I mean, this is irrelevant. It, th this is getting you a block, but it's thoroughly irrelevant to the result of the game. Um, both of these guys... I mean, I guess you've got to try and <laughs> make him score so you can score... So you can make it 2-2 two -two, or stop him scoring. So this block isn't doing either of those things. It's just taking two guys out and it's letting him stall. Um, or... He can go for a 3-1 if he wants. I mean, I might still score there just to go for the 3-1, to be honest, the way this was going. But um, the goal should have been to pressure the score to have a chance of a 2-2. Or, you know, make this, make it so that you get a shot on the ball the next turn. Yeah, yeah, exactly with that. Yeah, I think... Because, yeah, the rules... The rules-based blood ball is a good thing. A good way of saying it because it's if you don't know what the best play is or whatever then it's easier just to go oh well caging is good I'll cage <laughs> elf screening is good I'll elf screen or whatever oh there's a double score not going diagonally um I feel like going diagonally is still better here. I really hate blitzing this guy. Because um, with three turns, again, you've got to get forward. So maybe he's putting in two assists and blitzing him with a troll would have been nice. Got a hand off to this guy. Um, so I'd have brought that guy. This catcher up because he's got sure hands. So I moved him up, handed off to him on two plus. Uh, troll could have blitzed him. And then he could have had the ball on the edge four guy in the cage. As it is, he might leap in for a sack and go for the three nil. I mean, because now he's still got his banks of two, hasn't he? So you like you can't score in two. Oh, I guess he's got the troll throw. Right. That's me being not an underworld person. Um, he's got the troll throw, hasn't he? Okay. Well, that's that's all right then, isn't it? <laughs> this is this is actually pretty all right. But he's kind of relying on the troll throw. But if it works, it's, he's golden, isn't he? If this works, actually. Right. Do the do the fucking toss, I guess, and see if you win. They will not win draw. Because he's already shown that he's not going to try and one turn against you. <laughs> he fails the... He fails the always hungry. <laughs> but he's still got another chance. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would have... I, I wouldn't have done. Um... 
and then you know I because I didn't understand what was happening until because if you're not used to it you're not used to it, are you he's probably going to go for the leap in 2D now isn't he now that he's realised oh shit he can lob him <laughs> You know, he probably, at first he didn't realise he could be lobbed, and now he's realised, oh fuck, he can just lob him. I'd better, uh, I'd better leap in and smash him. So he leaps in, smashes him. And, uh, it's alright. Just in case. I don't think that guy's going to do a whole lot of good. Oh man. <laughs> Picks up the ball in the 5 plus. And then hands it off. Oh my god. Woodies. Disgusting Woodies. Oh, any trip wires. <laughs> Fucking woodies, man. That's the, just the disgusting thing, though, isn't it? They just need twos and threes, and then even the crazy bullshit is just a five plus, which isn't even that difficult, especially with a reroll. Crazy, crazy stuff. So now looking back, actually, probably his decision to hold on to it wasn't that bad. Going for the pass, going for the troll lob the next turn. Um. I wouldn't have done it, but then I wouldn't have considered it because of, you know, not playing Underworld. <laughs> um, yeah, and I guess going for a foul here is good, uh, especially in like a league environment. He's got to make this big foul here, I guess. Blitz with a mighty blow guy first. Oh, because you get SPPs for that. Rather than getting sent off for a stun. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic gym foul to end it up. So there you go. So uh, yeah, you know, there's probably so could go into it into more detail. So uh, let me know if you want particular things, uh, Hubster, because this was I wasn't sure it was the right game and stuff. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.